So I want to talk about when is the best time that you would know or how you would know when to save images in the operating theatre, surgery, whatever you want to call it, operating room, right? When you have CM images, right? Fluoroscopy images, fluoroscopy videos, etc. Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna from AxiraTech.com and I help you go from the classroom to the extra room with ease. Yes, it's been a while. I know, I know. I had to take a hiatus. It was not planned. I have been going through it and I've been getting a lot of requests. And by the way, I just went through my comments. You know, I have not been on YouTube for the past like four months. I know, it's horrible, like three, four months. I've just been somewhat uninspired and kind of figuring things out, not just on YouTube, but in general. But I don't want to just fall on like up and leave. So yeah, I got a few requests from students actually. But in this particular video, I just want to quickly, or as quick as possible anyway, it's not planned, I'm just going off the top of my head, talking to you guys one on one, right? But they reach in, first of all, they set everything up, and now they start to take images. Before they even drape and like clean and drape the patient's body part, whether it's the leg, the hand, whatever, they would ask you to probably, well, most in most, well, some cases, unless they are already very familiar with the pathology, they will ask you to take a couple scout images or just pre-surgery images and in that particular case you set up and take your images this is a good time by the way for you to familiarize yourself on what will be the best wow this will be the best time for you to familiarize yourself on what will be the best like distance height everything to maneuver your cm in because usually the operating theater is fairly small the space you have to work with isn't the biggest right so we kind of try to make our space work our space work for us as best as possible Oh look, my brother walking home. <laughs> this is so awkward. Anyway, <laughs> so that's why the dogs are back. Basically, um, once you figure all that out, you take your initial images, you're familiar with your space and all like that. You save your first set of images. And that's because just in case the surgeons, before they officially start, they want to look back and see what images that you have going on so far, right? Before they actually start doing the piece. I'll just pause for a moment. Yes, I'm literally ready from no. Anyway, so yeah, after you set up your scout or your initial images, you definitely want to save those, especially for like spinal cases. They would likely want to just check a little needle through so that they can make sure they are at the right level of the spine that they need to operate on. Or in cases where you have really bad fractures, they might just want to see that, okay, maybe we have to manipulate the fracture a little bit. If it's like a DHS, a dynamic hip surgery, they might want to rotate the foot in a little more to bring the female and a better AP or they might want to add traction meaning to pull on the leg a little before they start to make sure everything aligns properly. So your first set of images, the AP and the lateral or the AP and the not so true lateral, whatever the case is, you want to save that, right? That's the first thing you're saving. And in the next instance, you would want to save images if the doctor asks, obviously. That's like kind of a given, right? If they say save this, clearly they want to save for a particular reason. So you just save it. The reason why you don't want to just keep saving a bunch of images is because, well, first of all, you never know how the story is set up on your CM monitor or CM system is, right? Maybe you're lucky and your images on your CM automatically connects to your wrist, your radiology information system, and the PACS archive, right? Well, that kind of the same thing twice no so maybe you're lucky enough and those things already connect but if you're not then the storage on your cm monitor is temporary maybe you might have it up for like a month or two but after a while things get replenished and reset in a way so you have access to the images but not forever right so you don't want to take a bunch of images and then you flood up the storage system with useless or very repetitive images Right, so you save in these particular cases. So the other reason why you would want to save your images is if you know that they are like checking screws or checking placements or wires and they're not too sure if they want to keep it yet. So for example, in an ORIF case or ORIF case, open reduction internal fixation. So they're taking the, the opening, the area open, reducing reduction, reducing the fracture, internal fixation. So they're taking a fixation device such as a plate and some screws and they're putting it on the bone and screwing it in from there and then closing it back up. So there's nothing on the outside, right? Versus an external, uh, an open reduction or a closed reduction or whatever the case is. Right. 
So where was I? Um, yeah, so if they happen, so you, if you happen to see them, like not too sure, or you hear them, kind of wondering, like, should I use this screw? Maybe I should use a size 14, that's just a random number, by the way. Or maybe like a 16. And they're like, hmm. So they put in the 14, and they see it, and they say, you know, this kind of too short, and not really passing through the cortex nicely. Um, it look a little like if it cut in a little too short, too close for comfort, let's take a bigger screw. So, you say, all right, let me see if this one, because you find like they didn't seem to show and they might want to go back. So then they try the 16 and they say, you know what, the 16 not really working. I wonder what the 14 was like. I think you should go back on the 14. Well, the image on the 14 of the 14 is right on the screen. So they don't need to worry about it. Right? So that's another reason why you might want to save. Now, you don't just go saving every time they seem confused about something or they questioning or wondering about something. Because then you'll be saving a bunch of images unnecessarily. The other reason why you would want to save an image is if you're switching position. Switching position as in switching the location of your, your part. So let's say you're doing a femur and you have to move from the hip down to the knee because there's a fracture lower down that they want to see about. Um, you would save at the hip, the last image of the hip, before you move on. So that way they could have that to compare or look to to kind of figure out if something might be affecting that something down at the knee that they change might affect up at the hip. So if you're changing position, I guess that's a kind of separate answer. The other thing would be if you're changing the position of the part itself or your angle or your view, right? So you're going, you're still at the hip, let's say you're doing a VHF, dynamic hip surgery still. You're at the hip, you take your AP, your straight perpendicular shots, your AP hip. Technically, it's like P because the tube at the bottom and the intensifier on top. But let's just call it AP for AP's sake, right? So you take your AP, because it kind of basically shows up like that. Anyway, so you take your image, and now they say, okay, swing for a lateral. So before you swing for a lateral, or before you at least, well, they can swing and then you want to take your image. But before you take your next image in that new position, save the original image. That way, they could see, okay, let me see the last AP, let me see the last lateral, so I will know exactly what things are looking like. What did I say so far? If they ask, if you change the position, if you're changing the projection or whatever, and well, the first image that you take, right? Now, in some cases, you might see something interesting and you might want to save. Another reason why you would save too is if you find you're taking a bunch of images and time passing, screws being added, but you don't have an updated image. So before you move on, like every two or three screws, you might want to take an extra image just to have it just in case. Now, you're not just taking images, right? you take it from they say and you save it every ever so often, right? Every few shots. Some surgeons like to take a million pictures, so please be wary of that. Don't just save every other image unless they specifically ask, right? So this video has been going on for quite some time. I think I've rambled long enough. I hope this helped. I've been meaning to film this for the longest time. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Video. I'm gonna film a couple more right away because you know, I have some catching up to do. So yeah, till the next one. Bye.